Ooh. You know when you haven't worn something in a while, but you haven't washed it either, and then you put it on, and you can smell someone on it, and you think, oh, I know who I was with when I last wore this. I can smell them. Anyway, distracting sense aside, Dragon Age Origins. Right, today I'm going to show you how to reset all of your achievements in Dragon Age Origins, because there are 109 in-game achievements, if we go on player profile, yeah, there are 109, you can see down here, there are 109 in-game achievements for Dragon Age Origins. This is on PC. Don't ask me about console. I don't know anything about console. If you're a console player, piss off because I can't help you. If we scroll down here, you will see I have currently got none of the achievements unlocked. It's zero out of 109. That is because I have installed Dragon Age Origins on a new computer. However, I have actually been playing. If we go to screenshots, you can see I've got all my screenshots here. It have been saved from, I think, yeah, that was just Elia's playthrough, wasn't it? I didn't get very far in it. But it's still got all my screenshots, but I've managed to wipe out all of my achievements and I'm going to show you how to do it. Because if you Google it, there's a lot of conflicting information and there's a lot of people who say you need to create a new online profile and stuff. You don't have to do that. It's much easier than that and I'm going to show you. First, though, we need to talk about your online profile. So, if go down here, you can see I'm not logged in and I'm not connected to the Dragon Age servers, and I never am. I don't play Origins connected to the Dragon Age servers. Um, because, as far as I can tell, there's no reason to, at least not on PC. Some people say that it transfers your choices across to the Dragon Age Keep automatically. It doesn't. You always have to input your choices manually to the Dragon Age Keep anyway. And I honestly don't know what other purpose the uh, online profile would serve at all, so I don't log into it. But if we do log in, Assuming, of course, I can remember my password. Let's just type something in. That might be it. No, that's not it. Okay, try again. Oh, for fuck's sake, am I not going to have to go through the whole forgotten password nonsense? Oh, I fucking am as well. I'll be back. Actually, come to think of it, can you even log into the servers anymore? Maybe you can't. Maybe that's a genuine thing. I know for a while, like a long time ago, I heard people saying that the servers were just down and they were just gone and you just couldn't log in anymore. Um, for Origins anyway. But at the time that people were saying that, I still could log in, so I kind of ignored it. Anyway, for whatever reason, I can't log into the servers, which means I'm going to have to do this the long-winded way because the, my point is that if you manage to log in and you've got a, an online profile that you've been logged in on while playing it, all of your achievements that you achieve, well, that you unlocked, while logged into that online profile will automatically restore. Um, which is why people think that you can't um, reset your achievements, but you can. But yes, in order to show you how to do it, I'm going to need to unlock some achievements. So I'm going to need to do this the long way. So um, I'll be back in a moment. Right, okay, so I bet you didn't know that you can complete the, um, the Human Noble uh, origin storyline in about 10 minutes. <laughs> I very briefly became a speedrunner, and as a consequence, I have now unlocked Last of Your Line, completed the Human Noble Origin, and I'm sure I unlocked, yeah, I unlocked Bloodied, complete an origin story without the main character ever falling in battle. So I've now unlocked two achievements. So these achievements are here. Um, sorry, my phone just threw a spazzy fit there for some reason. Um, my, um, yes, my, my two achievements are here. I can not undo them, or can I? Well, as it turns out, if we... Quit Air Origins, that's my recording thing, and we go on to, where am I going? We go on to this PC, Documents, Bioware, Dragon Age, and then Settings, and down here there's a little profile, profile, if I was going to say delete it, but we're going to err on the side of caution, and we're going to cut it out of there, and we're going to pop it on the desktop. So there, so it's not in there anymore. So that was this PC, Documents, Bioware, Dragon Age, Settings, and it's a little one called Profile. If you take it out of there, and then we go back into Dragon Age. So back in Dragon Age, and if we go back to Player Profile, and it should be, none of the achievements are unlocked once more. And this also works for specializations. So the way you, um, you unlock specializations for your characters, through playing the game, but once you've unlocked them in one playthrough, they'll be unlocked on subsequent playthroughs. 
But if you do this, it'll clear that off as well. So now I'll have no specializations unlocked and all of my achievements are reset. So that's how you do it. That's how you reset your achievements. But you will need to make sure that you are not logged into the servers. It seems that I can't log into the servers. I don't know whether it's just impossible or whether it's just that they're kind of throwing a bit of a fit at the moment. They're probably a bit temperamental. They are quite old. Um, but if you do manage to log into the servers, that will reset all of your achievements. So you'll need to stay not logged in. I have seen some people say that when they delete the profile, it, um, it deletes all of their DLCs. But seems fine with me. I'm using the, um, the Ultimate Edition on Steam. So yeah, I've still got all the DLCs there. Um, so yeah, this is the Ultimate Edition on Steam. I don't know if you've downloaded the DLCs like from Origin or something. That might be a thing. So if you don't want to delete the profile, the other way to do it is just to uninstall and then reinstall the game and make sure you don't log into your online profile and that will reset everything as well. So yes, that's how you do it. There is a reason that I'm telling you this now. And it's an exciting reason, but I'm not going to reveal what it is yet because I'm cruel. Another quick thing I need to say before I go. Um, yeah, so in my last update video, I said that I was going to upload Mass Effect video on the 1st of January and in oblivion video on the second and that didn't happen and it wasn't my fault this time it wasn't because i didn't get around to recording them they were ready they were uploaded and everything it's just youtube refused to process them which i think was probably because i was uploading them when my bandwidth was, was quite crap because it was like christmas and everybody was probably like using the internet and stuff um so yeah youtube just didn't process them and i've had absolutely no time at all to sort it out but i'm getting it sorted this week and they will be going up like um this weekend which will be give me a second uh yeah it'll be the 15th and the 16th so the mass effect video will be going up on the 15th of january and the oblivion video will be going up on the 16th um and banished the last episode of banished is being uploaded now on the 9th so that should be up in about an hour um it'll already be up by the time this video is up so hopefully you're already watching that Anyway, enough from me. I'm going to go because um, I've just heard my washing's just finished. And uh, there might there might be more Dragon Age soonish, <laughs> she says, while giggling girlishly. Yeah, I've got plans for Dragon Age. I've got plans. But anyway, I'm going. Bye.